Yo guys, I'm Yellow, a Norwegian hardcore PC gamer, blah blah blah. So let's get into the new event for the Pick'em Challenge. I've done these before and I've been fairly accurate. However, a couple of upsets here and there have made it so that even my predictions have fallen flat, which is fine. Now also keep in mind that some in some scenarios I've just made silly picks because I don't normally bet, as many of you people probably know. So there's that. But anyways, I figured that we should jump into the game right here. And here I've grabbed one of all the stickers. Now keep in mind that I picked a couple of the more obvious picks that I'm going to do for fun or for serious things. But anyways, yeah, I figured I should go through this here with you people so that you can see which picks you should probably get. Now keep in mind that I've actually double verified which picks I want to do versus the community, which is kind of fun. Now later down the line in the tournament, things are obviously going to get more uh, difficult. And what I mean by that is that... Uh, the nuance for the Pick'em Challenge is going to be a little bit difficult because some teams, they are really like edging against each other in terms of which one should win or which one is predicted to win. However, a couple of them are rather obvious, so I figured I should go through those in which the list is going to look fairly bland here after I'm done. So now I'm going to go through the stickers and put them in and then I'll, I'll try and go through those that are a little bit iffy. Uh, some of them are like... 55 to, to 65 to, or 45 to 65 in terms of, of uh, or yeah, 35 in terms of the percentage. You probably get what I mean. Like they're really like in close by. It's like 51 to 49. It's like really dumb, but most of them should make sense. So on the top here, I'm going to go with Nip just because I hope that these people have not just wasted their practice time. But if this one is wrong, I'm not going to be sad about it. However, it seems like Flipside could make an upset here, but I'm going to make my uh, pick for Nip there. Um, I just, just like, this is the last hurrah. If they are gonna potato this one too, I'm just, just nah, nah, sorry. I'm putting my, my, um, all, all my grapes on Fnatic. Is that even a saying? I don't think it is. <laughs> even for Luminosity versus Mouse Bars, I gotta go with Luminosity. Like, they're just too powerful. Too powerful. And here, actually, I wanna go with Face Clan. But if Liquid again make, make some fight out of this, uh, well, go figure. I guess I, guess I can use this for something else. <laughs> It's just so corny that Norwegian people are in the face face uh, guild. I was gonna say clan. Like I I don't I don't get it. How, how did that happen? Anyways, I, I guess if if they beat people, it's fine. Fnatic, um, pretty obvious. Splice, uh, rather fresh around the block. Fnatic's. Okay, that, that was a bug. Fnatic are rather good and legendary, and they have not stopped believing, so there's that. <laughs> Team Envious versus CLG. This one uh, should go to Envious, but they're really up and down. I mean, the, the counter pit tournament I just saw, that they, they didn't really perform up to par, but what can you do? Like, shit happens. You, like, yeah, they're up and down, I, I guess. Astralis versus Gambit. It should go Astralis way, but at least we got the Dosia Sex God uh, stickers because of Gambit uh, uh, qualifying, so I'm not uh, sad about them being here. Even if they won't perform really good, that's cool for me. However, it would be cool with any upsets of these teams. I want to point that out, but anyways, looking really good for Astralis. So here we go here. Um, Navi versus Clown9. This one is looking really good for Navi, and they just... Yeah, they, they uh, performed really good in the Gambit tournament. Uh, I won't spoil anything, but they they performed so good, they uh, performed really good. That doesn't make any sense, but you probably get what I mean if you uh, know who won. But anyways, yeah. Uh, Navi versus Cloud9. Um, yeah, it should be fairly obvious, even though, again, Cloud9 actually got a pretty crazy comeback the other day. Yeah. Uh, now, G2 versus Virtus Pro. Now, G2, for people who don't know, they are basically Titan right now. Uh, but, you know, Titan, they went down under, so there's nothing you can do about that. But now they are beneath the G2 org, which means that Virtus Pro, which have been in a slump, and they're really up and down. Like, either they perform really good and everything clicks, or it just doesn't work. Um, they're gonna get a run for the money. So G2 is the last one. Uh, keep in mind, I already went to the subreddit and somebody were like, you know what, we're gonna have a poll. So they went through all the stuff. I went through all the stuff and go figure, I picked everything that the community in general were aiming towards, which is kind of funny because that makes it so that I'm like right with the community, but it doesn't mean that I need to be right if you people get what I mean, okay? Any of these teams can and will maybe one day get upset by the other team uh, in which it should be their victory, okay? So I just want to put emphasis on the matter of fact that I don't care if all of these people win. I don't care if all of these are right. I don't care if the community poll should be like 100% spot on and I don't care if all of these people will all win. However, it would be cool and it would be cool if like they either win and it's like a close fight or if they win and it's like a an upset if that makes sense. It's like I, I just want a fucking awesome match, okay? That's basically what I what I want. In which it's looking really good for Fnatic, Luminosity and Navi currently. 
maybe also G2. It's going to be interesting to see. Now, as for the other teams right here, it's also looking slightly interesting for Mouse Sports. Cloud9, I guess I would say. And maybe, maybe Liquid. It's going to be very interesting to see how they, it will fare. In which people just got to gauge how well they perform at this tournament. Because a recent performance is going to tell a decent story. Uh, even though, again, maps and how well they play on them are also going to tell a decent story. So, without anything else to add, thanks for watching. Hopefully, people enjoy this little pick em challenge that I did right here. Um, if you want to drive away from what I picked... Go for it. I mean, it's like we can't see the future, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens. In which, uh, yeah, I've been going through a ton of different things in my real life, so hopefully things are going to get ironed out eventually. Thanks for any congratulations for my birthday, too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, getting slightly old, I guess. But uh, yeah, not too much more to say about that, people. Uh, so thanks for watching, thanks for the support. Have a nice day, and don't get beastified when you play.